Hey guys, what's up? It's Mason uh, from Mr. Chameleon Lover and I'm Sheriff Tiles and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to candle eggs. Um, as you know, or actually you don't know, but as you can see we have two eggs Sunkiss laid. Um, this one she laid uh, a week ago, a week ago today actually. This one was laid about two weeks ago today actually, which is kind of interesting. Um, and so, oh no, 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 this one was laid... I think four days ago, and this one was like late a week ago. Sorry about that. Um, and so, but today I'm going to be showing you how to candle them, see if your eggs are fertile or infertile. Um, so what you'll need to candle eggs are either a candling flashlight or a flashlight that has a small um, opening, like where the light comes out. And if it's adjustable, you want your beam to be as tight as it can. Uh, now, to truly show you, I'm going to do it in my closet uh, where it's dark enough. And so we're going to actually do one of the eggs that I have not candled yet. Uh, it's best to candle normally at night time, um, just when it's dark, but because I'm doing the video now and it's not dark, I'm going to do it in my closet where it is. So, uh, yeah, hang on while I get the egg out. Uh, sometimes you won't be able to tell if a egg is fertile or infertile until about a week, but uh, in a lot of cases you can. Um, these eggs are both sun-kissed to Roche, uh, so they should come out as super hypo tangerines. Um, and so, yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh. All right. Okay, so hang on, I'm going to shut the door. Okay, so now it's pretty dark. I don't know if you can see the egg right there. Um, okay, so you're going to turn your light on. That's really tight. What you're going to do is you're going to take your egg out. Uh, be really careful when you take your egg out not to rotate it. Um, so I'm just going to spread it. Take it out nice and gently. 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 I don't know. Uh, and then you're going to kind of hold your egg. You're going to take your candle and press it up to the egg. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. See how the egg is a reddish? Here, hang on, I actually... I'm not actually 100% sure this one's fertile. Hang on. Yeah, it looks like it is. Um, but I'll show you on the other egg. But uh, if it's like a bright yellow color, and it's just yellow, it means the egg is probably infertile. This one is a little yellow, actually, but it has some red on it. And if you see some red veins, that means it's fertile. Um, so I'll candle this one again pretty soon, about a week, just to be sure. Um, so, hang on a second. And I'm going to get the other egg out to show you what a real, like what a truly fertile egg looks like. All right, now this egg, I'm like 100% sure is fertile. And so I'm going to show you what that one looks like. Shut the doors. All right, a little light. I'm gonna open up the egg. Whoa. Okay, must fall. okay, so open up the egg. Um take it out real gently. Hope you guys can see this. I mean it's really red. You can kind of see some veins. I hope you oh, we can see that. Like right there. See how it's really red? You can actually see the embryo in there. Like right where my thumb is. Um, so yep. Uh, so if it's red or you see some like red veins around the edge of the egg, it is fertile. And so you definitely want to keep that egg. Even if you think the egg is infertile, it if you have room in your incubator, it's probably best to uh, keep it. Um, open this back up. Um, it's probably best to keep it if it's infertile and you have room in your incubator. Uh, if your egg comes out and she laid it and you come to pick it up and it's like ridiculously mushy, like it just like squishes like a like a limp water balloon almost I could say, um, then it's definitely infertile and so you could probably just pitch that one. Um, but if it's just like has maybe a little dent in it but it still feels somewhat hard, um, I would go ahead and keep it if you have room in your incubator. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope this helped you. Um, 
comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, once again, the egg is yellow and there's no red lines. Um, it's probably infertile, but if it's red and has veins, or you can even see the embryo, like you kind of could in this one, then it's fertile. Um, but it's always good to at least wait two weeks before deciding if it's fertile or infertile. Alright guys, see you later. Thanks for watching. Once again, the contest is still going up, so go check that out. And enter if you want. Alright, see you guys later.